Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses, and this is part one, the ritual of the degree from Master Mason Educational Proficiency Manual. Master Mason Educational Proficiency Manual. Grand Lodge of Virginia, Ancient, Free, and Accepted Masons, 2007. Grand Lodge of Virginia, Ancient, Free, and Accepted Masons, Master Mason, Educational Proficiency Manual. There is nothing in this pamphlet that is in any way restricted. However, it is not intended to be given to the candidate. This material is to be used as a study guide. The information contained herein is to be covered in a conversational discussion type setting, either with individual candidates or in a group. This approach is designed to encourage and stimulate thinking and promote discussion about Freemasonry and who and what we are, what we stand for, what we teach, and try to inculcate, and why, ever remembering the only purpose of our fraternity is to make good men better. Grand Lodge of Virginia, Ancient Free and Accepted Masons, 2007 Grand Lodge of Virginia, Ancient Free and Accepted Masons, Master Mason Educational Proficiency Manual. There is esoteric work associated with this degree that has been handed down mouth to ear over the generations and is not proper to be written in this manual. You will be assigned a mentor or catechism instructor to teach you this work as well as to assist you with the information in this manual. Part 1. The Ritual of the Degree What is the significance of being raised to the sublime degree of Master Mason? It is that we are raised to the highest level of consciousness that encourages us to pay more attention to how we live our lives. As a Master Mason entitled to the rights and benefits of Masonry, we are expected to live up to our obligations of charity and brotherhood, support freedom of speech, thought and conscience, and work to eliminate prejudice and undue passion. Why is the degree of Master Mason called sublime? This solemn ceremony is the culmination of the three degrees of Freemasonry and also teaches profound and important lessons. How is the degree of Master Mason different from the preceding Masonic degrees? In other degrees, the Lodge is a symbol of the world. In the degree of Master Mason, the Lodge is a representation of the Sanctum Sectorum or Holy of Holies of King Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem, which itself was a symbol of heaven, a place where God dwelled. How are the symbols of the Master Degree different from the preceding Masonic degrees? In the Entered Apprentice and Fellow Craft degrees, Architecture was the theme of the symbols in the Master Mason's degree. The theme is more spiritual. The symbols of the Master Mason degree refer to life, its tragedies, and its ultimate triumph if we lead virtuous lives. What is the meaning of the reception in the Lodge Room at the start of the Master Mason degree? The reception is a reminder that, if the lessons of Freemasonry are to serve a useful purpose, they must be implanted in your heart and become a part of your daily life. The clothing again reminds the candidate to be humble, and he is taught that his obligations become more extensive each time he advances. What is the significance of the three Grand Masters? In the legend of the Master Mason's degree, the first three Grand Masters were Solomon, king of Israel, Hiram, king of Tyre, and Hiram of Beth. They are recorded in the biblical account of the building of the temple. These secrets, said to be known only to our three grand masters, typify divine truth which is not communicated to man, the fellow craft and workman, until by industry and steadfast purpose, he has completed his spiritual temple and made it a fit dwelling place for divine truth. With this truth, the reward of a well-spent life the craftsman can travel into the undiscovered country towards which each of us is journeying. Who was Solomon? Solomon, the son of David and Bathsheba, 
was born about 997 BC and became king in 977 BC. He reigned for 40 years before his death in 937 BC. In the history of the Hebrew people, the reign of Solomon stands out as one in which the greatest power, prosperity, and recognition of that nation were achieved. The name Solomon means peaceful. His reign was one of peace. What is meant by the Lion of the tribe of Judah? The Lion is a symbol of might and royalty, and it was the sign of the tribe of Judah. It was alone one of the titles of King Solomon. Some say the term is used to refer not to King Solomon, but to the Messiah. However, each Mason can interpret this and other symbols as he chooses. Who was Hiram, King of Tyre? Hiram was a friend of King David, and became both ally and friend of King Solomon. According to the biblical accounts, he assisted Solomon by supplying certain materials for the construction of the temple and, in return, received gifts from Solomon, including 20 cities. 1 Kings 9-11 Our ritual assigns certain duties to Hiram of Tyre, but these duties are purely legendary. Who was Hiram Abiff? Hiram Abiff was sent by King Hiram to assist King Solomon in the erection and beautification of the temple. Hiram Abiff is mentioned in the first book of Kings 7, 13, and 14. And further information is found in 2 Chronicles 2, 12, and 14. In the drama of the Master Mason degree, who did the candidate represent? Hiram Abiff. What is the legend of Hiram Abiff? Although Hiram Abiff is a historical character, the legend used in our Master Mason's degree is not found in the Bible. The word Abiff is translated as my father, so the name Hiram, my father, is a term of great respect. He being regarded as the father in the patriarchal sense of all his workmen on the temple. What lessons are taught by the legend of Hiram Abiff? It teaches that our worst enemies may appear to be our friends, and that we may be harmed by our own working tools, meaning our own inner qualities. More importantly, it teaches the importance of fidelity to our promises, and that even if we are harmed and brought low by circumstances, there is always the hope and expectation that we may be helped and raised up again, especially with the assistance of our Masonic brethren. What is symbolized by the three ruffians? There are many symbolic allusions. The ruffians symbolize the passions in each of us that we must try to keep in check and teach us that rewards must be earned. We learn that hard work and perseverance are keys to success, that violence is never an acceptable form of conduct except in self-defense, and that moral shortcuts can have serious consequences. More broadly, we learn that tyrants who seek to enslave us first deny the right of free speech, symbolized as a blow to the throat. Secondly, Tyrants try to control us by attacking our right to place our affections where we wish, symbolized as a blow to the heart. Finally, and most importantly, tyrants attack our ability to think for ourselves, symbolized as a blow to the brain. What is the lost word in Freemasonry? Masonic scholars believe that the lost word refers to divine truth, which we are all seeking in our own way. Others believe that the search for the lost word symbolizes our search for what God intends us to do with our life. The idea that Masons have a substitute for, but not the true word, symbolizes that while we strive for truth, we have only reached an approximation of truth and have not yet attained perfection. The search for the lost word leads Masons to be open to receiving truth from any source and to re-examine their opinions in light of new information. Thus, Freemasonry is devoted to freedom of thought, speech, and conscience. It also means that each of us needs to triumph over the prejudices, passions, and conflicts that may have developed within us. No one can be a true Mason unless he sees each and every person, regardless of their color, race, religion, nationality, or gender, as worthy of respect and dignity. 
Why does Freemasonry refer to traveling to foreign countries and refer to Masons as traveling men? And what is Masonic visitation? In earlier centuries, operative Masons worked to become proficient in the knowledge and secrets of their craft and become master builders who could travel freely from country to country to help build great buildings. Today, the philosophy of Freemasonry is often unknown or foreign to those outside the fraternity. So the candidate for symbolic or speculative masonry and the new mason must learn a new language, understand new customs and traditions, and stretch their minds to interpret symbols that teach them important moral lessons. The rite of Masonic visitation refers to the fact that Master Masons are welcomed in Masonic lodges all over the world. What are the symbols of this degree? The symbols of this degree include the 47th problem of Euclid, the all-seeing eye, the anchor and arc, the beehive, the broken column, the coffin, the hourglass, the marble monument, the pot of incense, the ruffians, the sitting mall, the scythe, the spade, the sprig of acacia, and the three steps. These and many other symbols mainly focus on how we can build our character a study of their meaning can be found in many Masonic books, but you can begin your study by reviewing the Manual of Work and the Mentor's Manual of the Grand Lodge of Virginia. There also is much valuable information in the Short Talk Bulletins, published by the Masonic Services Association. What is the symbolism of the all-seeing eye? It is a symbol of deity. God watches over humanity and our acts are weighed against his standards of morality and virtue. The eye is never closed, symbolizing that God never closes his eye to our problems and struggles in life. What is the symbolism of the sprig of acacia? An evergreen symbolizes continuity and refers to a custom of placing a sprig of acacia by the head of the grave to mark its location and to show a belief in the immortality of the soul. What are the jewels of a master mason? Jewels are things that are precious, and precious to a master mason are friendship, morality, and brotherly love. We came into the lodge as a friend of someone who signed our petition. We extended that friendship into brotherly love for our fellow masons, and we encourage each other to act morally, honorably, and courteously towards all mankind. What does the trial teach us? Operative Masons use the trial to spread the cement that holds stones together. Master Masons are taught to especially value the trial, used symbolically to spread the cement of brotherly love that ties us together. What is the significance of the five points of fellowship? The points of fellowship teach us that we should be ready and willing to help our brethren and that we can expect similar help from them. Brotherly love is one of the most important aspects of Freemasonry. We are taught that one of the greatest things each of us can do is help our fellow man, especially our brother Masons. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.